Hey guys, Chris here, and today I want to talk about the minor scale and start to introduce the modes of major. Now, the minor scale is a really good one to start with because it's one of the more popular modes of major other than, of course, major itself. We also call minor the Aeolian mode from time to time, depending on what circle you uh, run with. Again, it's one of the most popular modes of major and it gives you a lot of mileage as far as like playing metal, rock, that kind of, of music. It gives you a lot to work with. Now, what is a mode of major? Because I've thrown that term around a few times here. Mode of major just means that it's one of the intervals of major that kind of becomes a new root. So if we're playing C major, and we want to start on the Aeolian mode or the minor scale, whatever you want to call it, that's the sixth mode of major. So we're going to start on the sixth note. So we're going to start on A in the case of C major, and we're going to play all the notes from the C major scale, and then beyond that to get back to our A octave. And you can hear that too when you play past the C. I'm just going to play A to C and then take a brief pause and then play the rest of the C major scale and you'll kind of hear what I mean. Like I said, it's all the same notes. We're just starting at a different point. We're emphasizing a different tone, a different tonal center. So what's the difference between a major and a minor scale anyway? Well, let's play an A major and an A minor scale side by side and we'll discuss that real quick. So that was a standard major scale, uh, A major, and next we're going to listen to the A minor scale. I'm going to play it once and then we'll go back and talk about it in voiceover. <laughs> So you can hear that there is a minor third mixed in there. And again, minor third means that it's a half step down from a major third. We also have a minor sixth and minor seventh. And so if you were playing something over like an A minor chord, you could focus on an A or a C or an E. just kind of give you a place to focus on that and to, if you're getting lost in the solo, you can kind of hit those target notes and it'll sound really good over an A minor chord or over any minor chord that you're playing or any minor chord progression. Hey guys, Chris here in post and I completely forgot to mention what a relative minor is. So relative minor is the relative minor scale that you find in every major scale. So in this case, we've got a G major scale and we're gonna find our relative minor scale and we're going to do so by taking our root, which is G, and we're going to bounce back two intervals, which is the equivalent of three semitones. And our E, our sixth note, is going to become our relative minor scale. And so here's our E minor scale up on the screen right now. You can see it's got all the same notes as the G major scale. It's just starting on E instead of G. And I kind of touched on this already in the video, but I wanted to really drive this point home because you can use it a lot in like blues and country and rock music to find your minor pentatonics over say a major chord progression and there are a lot more benefits to knowing this offhand but just know that if you need to find the relative minor of a scale you just count back from your your root two intervals or three semitones and you'll find it so that's kind of the basis of the minor scale. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to do more videos on the modes. I'm going to kind of do them in a pattern of basically most popular to most obscure. We'll start that up and we will go from there. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. There will be more in the future. And again, thank you.